I can see the conservative movement is slowly coming back around to its implicit racism of the old of the old days. You know, like I remember when Obama was president, there definitely was some thinly veiled, you know, racism there. And sort of as a xenophobia, you Muslim socialist, you're born in Kenya. And now that Katanji Jackson Brown is a nominee, you're seeing conservatives are kind of coming, you're kind of getting a little a little taste of that again. And like I saw Charlie Kirk, for example, Charlie Kirk said, take a good long look at Katanji Brown Jackson. This is what your country looks like on CRT. And, and a lot of liberals called him out for that. And they said, well, what exactly does that mean? <laughs> what the hell does that even mean? It means, uh, yeah, she's black. And if you're a white guy and you dream of becoming a Supreme Court justice, you're going to have to clerk for someone named Katanji Brown Jackson. And so Charlie Kirk was like, he was like this close to saying, look at that black face. <laughs> look, look, look at her black face and her name. You know, that's what your country's going to look like. I, I I love this video. And I say that because you have a white nationalist who's calling it for what it is, who's saying exactly what we know it to be. It's like, you can't tell me that racism, dog whistles and whatnot, that that's not going on. When we people of color see it, we black people see it. And also the white nationalists, the white supremacists who are actively trying to uplift white people see it. So to be Anyone else and to claim that, nope, I, I don't think it. I think you're reading too much into it. You're lying, you're lying. Even your boys out here telling the truth, saying exactly what he sees. And this is also why I often say I would prefer over anything to engage with someone who is like a David Duke white nationalist admitted racist, as opposed to a lot of these hunky dory liberal white people who claim not to have a racist bone in the body. Because clearly somebody's lying to me. And I'm not here for it, right? Yeah, I hate this kid so much, but there's something deeply funny about knowing that he's he's got this really fancy looking setup on his stream, but that he's streaming from his mom's basement. Like <laughs> it's a little little funny, but um, yeah, I first learned of Nick Fuentes watching TYT in undergrad. My roommate walked in the room and she said, "Is that Nick Fuentes?" I went to high school with him. He gave my graduation speech. He was our class president. And he's apparently always been a racist, always always been a bad person, always been an obnoxious little turd. Not say anything I shouldn't say on TV. But um, you know, what he said, what you were just mentioning about him just saying, essentially translating Charlie Kirk's thinly veiled racism. I mean, we also saw this with uh, people who were avowed white supremacists at a white nationalist convention praising Tucker Carlson. Saying that Tucker Carlson makes the uh, the white nationalist talking points better than even they can, that they study him. Uh, but those same <laughs> Tucker Carlson, uh, Charlie Kirk will then turn around and say, "Oh, we're not racist, we're not racist." But then the people who are like, "Oh, I'm a racist, and you're doing racism real good, and I like it," <laughs> like, "Okay, I I <laughs> didn't buy you before Tucker Carlson, Charlie Kirk, but I definitely am not buying you now when you say that you're not racist." No, oh, yeah, it's like if your racist boy can see it, that tells me that what we see is very much, very much real. And you know, he can film from wherever he's going to film. He can be a racist. The thing is, he ain't out here trying to lie to me about it. And that's what I appreciate the most because you can keep those white liberals out here who are saying that they're not racist and they have no problems. I don't care if you are on the right or the left. If you out here trying to lie to me about your racism or how you maintain structural racism, we can't be friends. We can't, we can't jive, we can't do anything. And I am so tired of those people. And so it's pretty refreshing, as sad as it is to have someone who will finally acknowledge exactly what a lot of these right wingers have been saying when they are attacking, when they're attacking us and people who look like me, that they are engaging in this thinly veiled racism, because that's exactly what we knew it to be. And so, hey, I, I appreciate it, even though I prefer Nick Fuentes to go very far, far away. If he can continue to do the analysis and to call it out for what it is, go ahead, I will not stop you.